I'm Herbie. And this is Anthony. He's our guest today on American Gamers. And, uh, well, I'm over at my brother's house the other day, and I'm looking through his Nintendo collection. And, uh, lo and behold, I find something he didn't even know he had. I didn't know he had it. He's had it for ten years and hasn't told me. He had <laughs> Bubble Bath Babes. One of the most rarest games for Nintendo. They probably already know that, but yeah. go on. Yes, and uh, it shows boobies, which is awesome. It's kind of like Tetris. And uh, Tetris with boobies. Tetris with boobies. <laughs> Bubble Bath Babes was a game made in 1991, and it was mostly sold in porn stores. It was kind of like a bootleg-ish copy, just something somebody came up with and programmed. And it shows boobies, so Nintendo couldn't market it. It's just one of those games that was out for a little while. You could really only find it in, like, adult stores and things like that. The game just received a lot of uh, fame and popularity just for the fact that you can play a Nintendo game that has boobies in it. But anyway, we have this game. It's worth a lot of money. And uh, we're going to show you how to play it. We're going to do... Bubble Bath Babes Review. All right, go for it, man. All right, this is Bubble Bath Babes. Those are boobies. Yes, they are. So, Matt, what are your thoughts? I see boobies. <laughs> I mean, how could anybody actually play this and get hard? But then again, it was 1991. I'm hard right now. <laughs> you know, everyone says that this game is a lot like Tetris, but it, it just seems like it's more like... Dr. Mario. Yeah, either Dr. Mario or Yoshi's Cookie. Uh, but more like Dr. Mario. It kind of reminds to... me of Bubble Bobble. Really? Bubble Bobble. Really? Well, no, not be... Bubble Bobble, but... Uh... Just because of the bubbles? Yeah. Like a mixture. Maybe if the dinosaurs were naked. I was going to say they all kind of look like the Pokemon balls for some reason. I see her scratching her butt. That's pretty funny. I just noticed that she's actually in a bubble bath, but she's floating above the water. This game isn't terrible. You know, I mean, it's not great. You know, it's entertaining, to it say would, the least. It would not fly off the shelves today, but... Well, I'll bet you any game will fly off the shelves if there was animated boobies in it. I still don't understand why this was sold in porn stores other than digital boobs. Alright, Matt, so what's the overall verdict? I'd say as far as rarity goes, I'd give it a 9. It's, it's no boxed copy of uh, stadium events. 9 out of 10? You know, but 9 out of 10. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, as for uh, the game itself. The game itself, it, it's kind of a fun puzzle game. You know what I mean? It's, it's kind of addictive once you start playing it. Um, I'd say I'd give it a 4 out of 10. And as for the boobies? I'd probably give it a 5 out of 10. What's our mission agenda thing today? Our mission agenda today is to find games all the games, because I want them all. Every single one. Me, I just want the good ones. And I can't blame you. We're on our way to I Got Game. Try and find some old video games. NES games, Super Nintendo. I got enough Sega Genesis already. Not really my thing right now. I don't want to be in the intro because of my gnarly beard. All right, we're at I Got Game on uh, Route 13 South in Del Mar, Delaware. And they got a fantastic selection of pretty much everything you'd want if you're a classic game head, like uh, myself and Herb. Uh, anything from uh, Atari, Atari 2600, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Sega Master System, blah, 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 blah. But uh, all sorts of games, some in the box, some with the manuals, a lots without. If you want any kind of game that you want to find, even the newer stuff, Xbox 360, Call of Duty, if you're into that kind of stuff, whatever, they got it. So come here. Every game you could ever possibly want probably isn't in there, but there are a whole bunch that are. So uh, it's worth it to check it out. Just a note for everyone watching, this video was actually shot last year, 
and they've since moved from their Del Mar location into the Bargain Bills flea market. Now this is different. This game was not licensed by Nintendo. American Video Entertainment. There was another company out there called K-America that uh, basically made games without Nintendo's permission. They're not exactly rare, but it's cool to have if you're a collector. They look like that. This is a K-America game, owned apparently by Andrew Sawyer. In a little while, we'll show you how to get rid of Andrew Sawyer's name. So what'd you get? What did I get today? I got the Three Stooges. I got Castle Quest with a book. That's a find. And Pyramid from American Video Entertainment. Let me flip it around for you, make it easier. And a cleaning kit. Still in the box. Nice. I'll take it. I don't want to set the world on fire. Oh, oh.